Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick unbagging of my August Ipsy Glam bag. This month was a pretty good month, so I wanted to give you the rundown, talk about each of the products, and if you've seen my Ipsy unbaggings before, or any unboxing or haul, whatever, you'll know that I like to go and give kind of mini reviews of each product as well as demos. So you can actually see how each of these products performs because Ipsy every month gives, most of the time with every product, gives a discount code. So in the event that one of these products performs well, you also have a chance to save on more, whether it's backups, more shades, what have you. So let's get into it. So I think the easiest way to go through all this is the order in which I use these products to apply the face you see here, since that's also the order that the demo is going to go in. So let's start off with the brush. This is from the brand Marsk, which I am totally new to. I went to go check out their site so that I could learn a little bit more, not just about this product, but the brand. They're actually a mineral makeup line, so they have foundations and loose pigment eyeshadows and eyeliners, I think, as well as a brush line. This guy retails for 26 bucks. It's just an eyeshadow brush from their pro line. It's what it says. I think it's a full size. It's hard to get an idea of scale on their website, but comparatively, uh, here's a Sigma brush. So the handle's quite a bit smaller, but I still think this is probably a full size brush. So $26 is a little steep, and I have to say it's not my favorite brush for the function that it serves. So this is a flat shader brush. I love this kind of brush for really packing and patting on pigment all over the lid. And granted, it's a little bit harder to tell today because I am wearing a very muted matte eyeshadow, but in general, the texture here is super smooth, which isn't a bad thing, but when it comes to laying, picking up and then laying down and blending out that product, I like something with a little more texture. Um, that surface area helps pick that product up and grip it so that you can apply it and it doesn't fall down on your face, which is something I experienced with this particular brush. I personally think this brush is more well suited towards cream or powder products. We don't have to worry about that kind of fallout. But because this is so smooth, and it's one of the reasons that I don't like wear or using foundation, like paintbrush foundation brushes or concealer brushes, is that when the fibers are this smooth, I tend to experience uh, brush strokes. So something to be aware of if you do use this with a cream or liquid product. But if you then follow it up with a buffing brush, you should be good. That being said though, I think this is a great introduction to the line Marsk, but I don't think even with the discount code, which let me check, it's 20% off for this month with Ipsy. Even with that discount code, 26 is pretty steep for a brush. So it was a great introduction to the line. And I definitely think I'll look more into their makeup in the future, but it's a little expensive for a brush. But that being said, I guess I have to remember that part of the reason of paying $10 for this bag and this mixed bag of goodies monthly is to get these kind of finds where you get a $26 brush that more than pays for the bag twofold and you get exposure to new brands to see whether or not you want to continue to try them. So there's that. Next up is an eyeliner. This is from the brand Star Looks, and it's their Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen. It retails for 19 bucks. So again, you're getting a huge value in this month's bag. And I was really excited to see this because I love a good felt tip liner, especially as we start heading into fall and winter. I like a nice bold lip, and I find that the easiest way to pair a striking but very subtle eye with that is a nice cat eye, a flick, a wing, a full on like big whatever it is, and I find a pen is easiest to do that. So love getting to try new pens, and Starlux in particular is a brand I really like. In fact, they have a subscription box, which I was subscribed to like a year ago-ish, got a few of their boxes for 12 bucks. Those two give you like an amazing value, but you only get Starlux brand products. So if you want more variety, which is what I personally enjoy in a monthly subscription service, it might not be for you. But if you really like just getting a, a lot of good quality makeup, you don't really care if it's from one brand or many, that's a really great subscription service to look into. And this month from Ipsy, you're getting 20% off. I'm not sure if you can apply that to the subscription, but if you're interested in it, you should definitely try. Otherwise, 20% off this liner, which as I'm getting to the point, is actually a really nice eyeliner, is also a good discount code to be able to try this guy for less than the actual retail value. More on this guy though, like I said, it is a felt tip liner. It's actually a relatively long felt tip liner, but it tapers into a nice precise tip that as you'll be able to see in application has a really nice product distribution. You don't have to work really hard, whether you are using the broad side to apply or the super fine tip, the ink flows really nicely no matter what, which is always absolutely key from a felt tip eyeliner. And then for me personally, the 
other thing that I have to have, especially in a felt tip, is super soft felt, especially on days when my eyes are more sensitive or um, you know itchier, allergy prone, things like that. I really, really need to have a soft felt tip, and so this one is definitely soft. And you'll see in the look I'm wearing today, I actually applied it over a separate gold eyeliner, so it lays nicely not only over your bare lid, a lid with shadow on it, but also a lid with, um, I don't know, I guess like another, this is the Kat Von D lightning liner. So it has kind of a different texture to it and it lays smoothly even over that and is long wearing even over that, regardless of what you put it over. So two thumbs way up for this felt tip liner. It was an amazing find for this month's bag. And if you are wanting to try it, definitely take advantage of that 20% off. Um, all of the discount codes, by the way, will be in the description box below the video. Up next are the two lip products I'm wearing. The first of which is from Lord & Barry. And I've tried this a few different times, all of them exclusively through Ipsy. I think they're available or have been available in the past through other sus subscription services, but that has been where I've primarily tried mine. This is easily the best product I've tried from them. I think I've tried like a basic black liner, um, which was just kind of okay. I think I've tried a powder product, whether it was an eyeshadow or a blush. It too was just kind of okay for the price tag. This I think is about half the size of a their normal a full size lip liner, which retails for 18. So it's about nine bucks worth of lip liner here. And it is in the shade nude lip liner. It's a little bit deeper than what I, what I typically think of when I think of a nude lip liner, but it's still very flattering. I applied it like I would a traditional lip liner just around the out, the perimeter of my lips and then kind of filled it in. So it was slightly gradient effect, especially as I went and applied the lip gloss that I'm wearing over it. But I was mostly impressed with how smoothly it glided on. There was no tugging on my my lips, which I think you'll be able to see, and that it does claim to be long wearing, and that is definitely something I've experienced from this lip liner. It says waterproof. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go that far. It definitely takes a lot to remove this stuff, but you know, by the time I'm through like a couple cups of coffee, um, had a snack or something like that, it's definitely gone and I will need to reapply, but it is a pretty long wearing lip liner. And so I think, like I said, this is my favorite product from that I've tried from Lord and & Barry, and I think it's the one that is closest to warranting the price tag because these do tend to be pricier products, but I don't necessarily always think they earn that. But this one does, and you do get 20% off this month, so I would recommend trying more. I personally might order more just to see what other shades they have in the line. Then the gloss that I put over top is from the brand Hikari, and this is just called a lip gloss, but it is very, very pigmented, and I would say pretty high shine. Mine is in the shade Salsa. It's this gorgeous red, perfect for going into fall, and I really love how it layered up over that brown undertone from the Lord & Barry lip gloss, or Lord & Barry liner. And these retail for 13 a piece, but you get 30% off and free shipping, I think, this month. And so I really think of all the products that I will talk about in this bag, these are some that I'm actually going to order more of because I was so impressed with the pigmentation, the high shine. They're pretty long lasting. Like I've had a couple of drinks, I've had snacks, like coffee, water, snacks, things like that throughout the day. And I do find that I don't have to touch up all that often with this. So this was a definite win for me this month. And once again, a great value added to the bag. Last is a hair product. And this is the one thing I am not wearing right now. It is from the brand Briogeo, and it's called a Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin Volumizer. It's a volumizing blow dry spray that you're supposed to spray on damp hair and then blow it out. Haven't had a chance to try this yet because while this is absolutely up my alley, I'm always looking for good root boosting, volumizing, like va va voom hair items. I currently have a few of these in use, and so I didn't want to bust into this just yet, but I am super excited to, because like I said, I'm always on the lookout for these, and this one smells amazing. I haven't used it, but I definitely opened the top to give it a whiff, and it's Oh, I'm such a sucker for things that make your hair smell good, but they also have to function. So jury's still out on this, haven't had a chance to try it, but I'm very interested in it. And this retails for $18 for a five ounce product. This is one ounce, so obviously it's not full size, but it still gives you quite a bit of product to really understand how it's gonna work for you. One of my personal pet peeves with these subscription services is when they give you packets of something like skincare or hair care, where you really need time and multiple uses to understand how it works for you. And you're just given this packet. So 
Haven't used it yet, but I love that it came in a decent enough size and that it's a product that I do think I'm gonna be able to incorporate really easily into my everyday hair routine. So that is everything that came in my August Ipsy Glam Bag. Like I said, really have been liking everything. You know, whether or not I'm going to explore the brands more, it offered up an amazing value. So I would love to hear what you guys are getting in your Ipsy Glam Bag, or if you are subscribed to some other service, what you're loving from that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.